Reversal theory is a general theory of psychology which utilizes a structural, phenomenological approach. It considers human behavior inherently inconsistent and argues that reversals that occur between paired metamotivational states form the basics of human personality, emotion, and motivation. To simplify the explanation of how all the information is related, the analogy of a sports tournament can be used. Imagine if we have one sports venue, the brain, and we want to have a sports tournament at this venue, but all the sports need to be played simultaneously. Luckily, we have two stadiums at this venue, one for racket sports and another for ball sports. Now imagine that both of these stadiums have two courts. This means that all four games can occur at the same time. If we consider this, it means that any combination of teams from different courts can be dominating their opponents at the same time. Now in terms of reversal theory, if we imagine that the competing teams are called metamotivational states, the racket sports stadium can be the somatic states, where an athlete experiences their own bodily arousal, and the ball sports stadium can be the transactional states, where an athletes interact with others and or objects. Then we have each sport representing a pair of motivational states, either of which can be dominant at any point in time, alongside those of the other sports. In further explaining these motivational states, we first move on to the four somatic states. Talic is arousal avoiding goal oriented serious minded individuals with an orientation to the future, completing activities and planning ahead, where its pair, paratelic, is arousal seeking, sensation oriented and playful. It involves being oriented with the present and wanting to prolong activity and is spontaneous. Conformist is a desire to comply with the rules, be cooperative and agreeable while its pair, negativistic, is a desire to break the rules, be rebellious, stubborn, and angry. Moving on to the transactional metamotivational states. The state of mastery, willingness to compete, desire for control, and focus on strength and toughness. Whereas its pair, sympathy, is a willingness to cooperate, a desire for harmony and unity, with focus on tenderness and sensitivity. Lastly, Autic is a concern with self, a desire to gain, suffering loss is an unpleasant, not identifying with others, being egoistic and focused on one's own feelings, while its pair, Oloic, is the concern with others. It's a desire to give, suffering loss is pleasant, identifying with others, being altruistic and focused on the feelings of others. These are the pairs between which reversal can occur and some of the attributes which they exhibit. Let's go on to examine the reason that reversal theory offers for these reversals. First, we have contingency, where an athlete can experience a change in normal conditions, leading to a need to reverse metamotivational states to keep up with the scenario. Secondly, we have frustration, where due to repeated issues, an athlete can reverse their state to take control of a situation. Third and lastly, reversal can be caused by satiation, where an athlete has remained in one state for so long that they simply fall into another. Now keeping these reasons in mind, we can go back to the sports venue scenario and look at the last part of the reversal theory. Now, at any given time, any of the teams can be dominant over the other team they are playing. As an example, paratelic dominance with conformance dominance and in transactional, we have mastery dominance and a loic dominance. Let's say that these teams are better than their opponents, and the natural tendency would be for them to be dominant. The same thing occurs for metamotivational states, as each individual has a dominant one of each of the pairs of states.